got my face, my eyelashes. So anyways, hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I literally filmed this whole video and I didn't realize that I don't even have an intro. So I'm pretty much working in reverse. So bear with me. It's kind of weird because I literally recorded the whole video and now I'm like, I just filmed the outro and now I'm doing the intro. So it's like really it's like reversed in my head. But anyways, we are doing a morning routine video. This is what I do every single morning with all the pets, kind of like their morning routine, my morning routine, all that good stuff. And I know a lot of you guys wanted a day in the life video, but unfortunately today, there wasn't really much going on. So I wanted to wait until I have like a day where Draco does his like protection training and I wanted to take you guys along on that journey. But I realized that maybe a morning routine video might be a little bit more interesting since this is literally what I do every single morning and it doesn't usually change. So it's pretty consistent for the most part. So this is my daily morning routine video with all the pets what I do every morning from wake up to like mid afternoon time. If that sounds interesting to you guys, please keep on watching. Good morning y'all, just woke up. First up, take all the dogs out to go potty. Come on, let's go. Potty? We are still potty training little Pablo here. So it takes him a little while to use the restroom, but these two go pretty fast. Wolf's up on the hill. Wolfies, did you go potty yet? Did you go potty? <laughs> Pablo. So we are still potty training his ass. And um, it's going well so far. He is using pee pads as well. But we're trying to like, wean him off of that. So we, no, don't step in the pee. So he goes in our backyard. But it's kind of difficult in our backyard because... We don't have like a giant patch of grass. We have like this fake turf in between and then like dirt all up in this hill. So um, it's a little bit difficult for him, but he's getting it. And he's also the type of dog to eat random shit and put stuff in his mouth, aren't you? Uh, you're such a little troublemaker. And then they do their morning playtime because Katana sleeps in the crate and Draco sleeps upstairs with us on the bed. Katana doesn't really like um, sleeping on the bed. So they're separated for however many hours and they wake up in the morning. Like they freaking miss each other so much, so. Yeah. <laughs> nice thing I do while they're outside using the restroom is I make their breakfast. But I'm just gonna fast forward this because I wanna do a more in-depth feeding video for you guys. Is what their food looks like when it's completed. I just have to add warm water to everyone's food and then that's pretty much what they eat for breakfast. But like I said, I'll do a more in-depth feeding video um, for the next video or something like that so I can explain everything that goes into their bowls. Couché. Katana down. Wait. just finished cleaning Pablo's little pen here we have in our bathroom. So he also eats in his pen as well, just so he gets used to everything. But so far he's been pretty good with being in here alone at night. He doesn't cry really. He cried for the first two nights, but other than that, he's been settling in really well. Oh gosh. <laughs> so let's go feed him. Anybody hungry? Hungry? All right, here you go. Oh goodness. While he's eating, I also like to kind of mess with his little paws a little bit. Um, I pet him a lot usually, mess with his face, mess with his back paws. I also trim his nails sometimes um, while he's eating so he's used to being or having his paws being touched. I also sometimes take the bowl away from him and make him stop eating. And then I make him sit. Good boy and he has to just patiently wait for his meals. So he eats, he's eating three times a day right now, so this is just his breakfast. Hi, buddy boy. So usually when I'm not recording and I have two hands, I'm definitely more like hands-on with his feedings. Sometimes I even hand feed him. And I also call his name while he's eating, so he associates his 
name with food and I also associate the word yes with food as well. So, a little pig. And they make the cutest sounds, like look at that. <laughs> After I feed Pablo, I go back downstairs and I take all the dogs back outside so they can use the restroom and then I handle everyone else. So, it's on a sit. Wait, hey, no. Yes. Goodbye, good potty. I go into my office and I just open up all the blinds because it's like so dark all the time. I'm currently remodeling my office right now so I have all this crazy stuff, but it's all gonna go somewhere. So then I go check up on the snakes and I make sure everyone has water. Yep, water check done. I also make sure all the lighting fixtures on, the heat's working, the heat side is working well. And usually Mr. Pickles is out and about, but I guess today he's hiding. And then I check up on Kilo as well. Just make sure she has water, which she does. And I just make sure everything's on and working properly. And as for their feeding routines, Kilo eats once a week and so does Mr. Pickles. So they already ate for the week. Kilo eats a live rat on Mondays and then Mr. Pickles eats frozen on uh, Tuesdays, which was yesterday. But like I said, I'll do a more in-depth feeding video maybe within the next week or so. And then now Salem is hungry, so we're gonna go feed Salem and kind of clean up the office a little bit. Just made my bed and cleaned up my room a little bit. There's like dog toys everywhere. I usually also vacuum in here and then I mop the, um, the bathroom as well, but today the maids are coming, so they usually do all that stuff. Luckily, the mates are coming. Our house is a total mess right now. And then now it is time to finally shower. <laughs> so after I showered, just change really quickly. And every morning I also clean Mr. Crouton's eyes. He has the most crusty eyes for whatever reason. Um, this breed is kind of just prone to like eye boogers and tear stains and everything. So I just clean out his eyes every morning and he does pretty well with it. And then we also brush all the cats as well. I do also have an assistant that comes by and helps me take care of all the cats, brush them, do all that good stuff. But I'm just gonna clean his eyes for him because they look pretty bad right now. But I'm gonna time lapse it because I do want to make an eye cleaning video for exotic short hairs or like kind of like a grooming routine for them. And yeah, let's clean his eyes. So that was his little eye cleaning video. His eyes are all clean now. He looks like a brand new kitty. Now I'm just gonna get, go do my makeup really quickly because my eyelash extensions are like literally, this is not it. I just threw some lashes on really quickly. Didn't even like really do makeup, but time to take Mr. Pablo. Let's go bud. Uh, out to use the restroom. Oh my god, I need to wrap <laughs> Good party, Pablo. Drago Pietz? Hi, bud. So usually around this time is the time I would normally take them to go for a walk. But honestly, it's like way too hot right now for whatever reason. The weather has been like insane out here in California or like SoCal. So the walk is probably not going to happen until a little bit later today. We're probably going to wait for it to cool down and then we'll go on a walk and everything. Hi, buddy. Ooh. Feisty little one. Pablo finally went poo poo. So we're gonna bring him back up to his crate. We did a little playtime with him. So I just played with him a little bit in the backyard. So he should be a little sleepy. So we're just gonna put him back in his crate so we get some alone time. And yeah, he's just gonna chill in here until it's time for lunch. Since it's a little too hot outside to do anything, I'm just gonna stuff enrichment toys for them while so they can work on this while I reply to some emails and stuff on my computer. So let's stuff these. These are, I was gonna make another video on this, honestly. I was gonna make so many videos, but um, it is a video idea, but these are called, I forgot what these are called, the Orby, Tough, orb tough or something i don't remember but you pretty much stuff like treats in here and then it's like really hard for them to get it out so i'm gonna stuff these two for the dobermans i guess i'll do it in real time really quickly for you guys so i just use these jerky treats tear them apart and then i literally just stuff them in so i stuff them in here and it takes them quite some time to get it out i see Good, All right, leave it. 
No. Leave it. Yes. So that pretty much concludes my morning routine living with all the animals. They are currently enjoying their enrichment toys. Wolf is currently in the living room enjoying hers. And now I'm just gonna reply to some emails and do some work on my computer. Uh, what else am I gonna do? Edit some videos and also reply to like comments on Instagram and kind of like maintain all the social media platforms that I have going on right now. So kind of a bunch of just random stuff. And as for the rest of the day, I just have a bunch of errands to run. And then we're gonna go on a walk later today and then do some training, stuff like that. If you guys are wondering about the cats and how come you guys didn't see much of the cats, I do have an assistant that comes. Uh, I mentioned that earlier, but she pretty much helps me with all the daily, daily feeding, grooming, like taking care of their eyes, all that good stuff. So she is like an immense help for me. Just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I promise the next video I will be doing like a more informative one for you guys about like care tips and stuff like that, like for the dobies. So I know you guys have been waiting for like one of those for quite some time now. So I promise the next video is gonna be an informative video about Dobermans and stuff like that. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.